then you talk about the permeability the sound mode must be porous in order to allow the escape of air gases or moisture present or generated in the mode when the molten metal is poured into it so permeability so the ability for air to escape through the sand so the sand is supposed to be permeable so that when you pour your molten metal those gases can easily escape through the pores of the sand then uh, all these gaseous materials must escape otherwise the casting become blatant so if the gases um if the gas done by the molten metal do not escape very well it will always affect um, your sand the mobility is a function of grain sand grain shape moisture and clay content in the molding sand mobility is a function of grain sand grain shape moisture and clay content in the modern sand. So the compound, the composition of all these quantity qualities gives you the permeability you want in your foundry sand. The extent of ramming of the sand directly affects the permeability of the mold. So most times if you use your flat rammer on the sand dream molding, sometimes it closes the pores of the sand. So so you have to choose a sand that can withstand even after being rammed it can still allow the escape of gases to it. Then we'll talk about the grain strength. So what is grain strength of the sand? So after water has been mixed into it. So after water has been mixed into a dry sand, it becomes a green sand. So how is the strength of the sand when water has been mixed to it? So it must have sufficient strength and toughness to permit the making and handling of the mold. For this, the sand grain must be Abhesive. Thus, they must be capable of attaching themselves to another body, and therefore, sand grain having high abhesiveness, we cling to the side of the mold box also. So, ability to stick together. So, it must have that ability to stick um, together. So, when you pour it in your mold boxes, it will stick to the body instead of um, going away. The sand grain must have the property known as cohesiveness, ability of the sand grain to stick to one another. By virtue of this property, the pattern can be taken out from the mold without breaking the sand, and also the erosion of the mold wall surface do not occur during the flow of molten metal. So the surface of the metal will not also wash away. So a sand that has a good um, cohesive and abrasive of nature will always withstand the flow of molten metal during pouring. The grain strength also depends upon the grain shape and size, amount and type of clay and the moisture content. And let's talk about the dry strength. So you have also dry strength. So as soon as the molten metal is poured into the mold, the moisture in the sand layer adjacent um, to the metal gets evaporated and this dry sand layer must have sufficient strength in order to avoid the erosion of the mold wall during pouring so dry strength is ability for um, sand to dry easily you know to withstand the um, pressure during dryness so when you pour your sand when you pour your molten metal you know, it get, it burns the surface of um, it burns the surface of the sand that comes in contact with the metal. So if the sand do not have dry strength, it cannot withstand that um, pressure. The dry strength is also prevents the enlargement of the mold cavity caused by the metastatic pressure of the liquid metal. So the ability to withstand the pressure of the molten metal. Flowability, that's another ability you need to consider in your sands. It is the ability of the sand to be is the ability of the sand to behave like a fluid so that when rammed it will flow to all portions of the mode and distribute the ramming pressure evenly. It's the ability of the sand to 
expand now when you ram it it goes in even to the little part of the pattern to take the shape you need and also stay in the box so anything that you do on the mode will always give you the results you always want to find generally sand particles resist moving around corners or projections in general flowability includes in, increases with degree in green strength and decreases in green size so the more the green size of the sand the lesser the flowability it has but the more the green um, size of the sand the more the the green strength you know so it's in, the flowability we increase the green strength so it increases it has an increase in green strength so green strength is when it has moisture it stand it absorb moisture in it without the um being so you know gummy or sticky or you know it gives you the right um st structure you want after pouring water in your sand so flowability when a sand has those two these two um qualities you always have a good sense when it comes to flowability of sands so collapsibility is another one so ability of the sand to collapse after power so as you after the multimeter in the mode gets solidified the sand mode must be collapsed so that the contraction of the metal occurs and this could naturally avoid the terms of cracking on the contracted metal 